today we are hiking the Little Wild Horse Bell Canyon Loop down in the San Rafael Swell. I have been up Little Wild Horse Canyon several times, but only maybe two or three miles up and then turned back around. So I've never done the whole loop and it's also Ian's first time doing this. So he gets to experience the whole thing right off the bat. And of course I have Charlie with me and I have a harness ready for him just in case we need to lower him. Beautiful morning. Uh, right now it's about 37 degrees, not a cloud in sight. Perfect day for a slot canyon. All right, so we are about half a mile in. We are at the split for the loop and we are going to stay right and go up Little Wild Horse Canyon and then we're gonna end up coming out um, Bell Canyon. So we're gonna take our split here. Okay, we are out of the slot canyon and in the sun it's much warmer so I put my sun hoodie up over just to help provide some shade took the puffy off and it's quite warm uh, we are at 3.6 miles and at the trail split so now we stay left in this wash and are gonna start making our way over to Bell Canyon where we're gonna loop back down beautiful so far what an awesome day Okay, so we are at the Bell Canyon sign and we're about two hours in and we're just gonna keep following the road till we see the connector. All right, we are at the next sign, 5.6 miles and we are gonna head right into that canyon and start seeing some more slot canyon formations. So here we go. So we are coming up on the Bell Canyon Wild Horse Split and we have finished the loop. I'm at 7.5 miles about another half mile back to the car so it'll be eight by the time we get back and that was a really pretty loop um, for dog owners we never had to 
lower Charlie with a rope or a harness or anything. He was able to do everything himself. So I'm just looking at my Gaia GPS and we went up 701 feet and we've descended 637 feet. So pretty much the same. And total hiking time for us to this point is three hours and eight minutes. So about by the time we get back to the car, maybe three and a half hours. The trailhead sign says it takes most people four to six hours. Um, we didn't really stop for breaks, so that helps. And we also didn't stop and take a ton of photos, which um, I think would also slow you down. So good timing and beautiful day. Make sure you subscribe and then check out the trail guide linked below. See ya.